In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Reaper for a video dubbing project. So let's get started. A while back, we worked on this project here. It's a health video, and we received the music and effects. We received the script and the video. So I'm going to set up Reaper from just having these three things right here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get the information about this. So I'm going to right click on it to the video and go to properties. And I'm going to go to details and I want to find out different information. We have the size of the video, but that's not going to really affect things. But this is really important. The frame rate, the 2398 is what we want. And also the sample rate, the 48,000 is what we want. But also, I found that it's helpful if you open it up in Audacity, it'll tell you it's 48,000, uh, but it's 32-bit float. So I just find it's helpful to be able to just get all the information that you need before you start setting up Reaper. I start off with Reaper open here, and I'm going to go to my file, project templates, and then the single narrator template that I made. I'm going to assume that you've watched my playlist on how to set up Reaper for a single narrator, because there's many things in here that I'm just going to assume that you already know, and I'm going to skip over them. So here, you need to make sure that you have all your effects set up. We have the noise reduction, gate, the EQ, compressor, limiter, and loudness. And so I'll have those links down below so you know how to set those up. But the first thing that we want to do, now come up to File, and we're going to come down to Project Settings. And under here, under Project Settings, remember it was 48,000, so we're going to take it and have the same sample rate. And then we're going to go to Media. I'm going to choose Wave. And remember, it was 32-bit floating. And I'm going to come down here, and I want the recording. This is for the glue, and we are going to use the glue. And so we want it the same format. And here, we want this to be Wave also. So go to Wave, 32-bit, and we want everything the same as our video. Hit OK here. Then we're going to go to Video. And the frame rate, remember? It was right here. 23.9, I think it was 7.8, but that's close enough. Then when I'm doing videos, I add a limiter to my master track. So I can come up here and go view master track, but I have my master track down here on the side. Go into the effects, and then I'm going to put in limit, and right here, master limiter. If I put that in, and I take it to negative 2 dB. And you might be thinking, well, I already have a limiter right here, and I limit it here. But the reason I have the limiter here is because once I add in the music and effects, this might hold the narration to negative 2 dB. But once you combine it with the music, it could go over and actually distort. So this will hold down the whole everything because it's going through the master. So if you're, this is at negative 2 dB and the music comes up pretty hot, instead of going over, this limiter will hold it down. And we want to make sure that the ripple editing is turned off. The reason is because when we're recording here, when we have regions, when the ripple editing is on, let me zoom in a little bit here. When you take it and you move it, the markers will move around. But we're going to put down regions and markers, and we do not want them to move around. We want them to stick where they are. So if you have the ripple editing on and you move a piece, all your regions that we're using to know where to place the video are going to move. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to make sure it's turned off. So now when I move the audio around, all my regions and markers stay put where they're supposed to be. We want our timeline also, right here, right click on it. We want to make sure it's in hour, minutes, seconds, and frames. So it's already set up for that. When we bring our regions in, we want them the same. 
Now we're going to take our video. I have it off screen here, but we're going to take it and we're going to take it and drag it and drop it down here and it'll create a track and it's copying it to the Reaper folder. And so now we have it down here and it's the health video and I want to pull it all the way over to the left. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and delete this and remove this. So now we have the video. And this has the English and the music and effects. So I go up here to view and I go to video and I'll bring it down here and I'm going to pull this up smaller. We don't need these right now. And when I play it here. When a person infected with coronavirus breathes, talk. The problem is we don't want that audio going all the time. So when we hit here. It's with millions of harmful viruses spread into the air. And when, when we mute the track, it turns off the video. And sometimes we want the video going, but we don't want the audio going. So the way that we handle that is we go right click. We want to go to duplicate tracks. We duplicate it. And now we're going to come down here and we can right click on it. And we go here, glue item. The only thing that this is doing is just converting this to a WAV file. Make sure the glue format is set the same as the recording format. So we go here and what it's doing is basically stripping the video out. And then this is just an audio track now. You could have rendered out the audio, but this is exact match. And so now I can turn this on and off. And I can take the volume and pull it down here and just leave it down. And so now when I play it, I can turn the mute on and off. But I'd rather prefer to do it this way. I can go down, right click on here, and then I go to Video Properties. And then I go down here and it just says Ignore Audio. So I click on Ignore Audio. And now, it turns off the audio. And so we don't need this anymore. We can take it, push it up. If you want to have it down, if you want to turn the video on and off, you might want to keep it down so you can mute it. But, but I keep the video on when I'm doing a recording. And now we can have this go on and off. Now I'm going to go and get the music and effects. I'm going to take that, drag it, drop it down here. It makes a copy of it. And I can pull it down here. Push it over. And now this is just the music and effects without the English. Now, I do not want these items to move around. It would be kind of disastrous if you're trying to do a video dubbing and syncing something and your video moves around. So I'm going to go and I'm going to click here, hold the shift, click, click, and they're all highlighted. And now I'm going to go to hold the shift and I'm going to click the little eye here and I'm going to say lock. Hit OK. And now you see the little locks here. So now I can't take this guy and move him around because he's locked. So the music and effects. And I typically have the music and effects turned off, but I like to toggle on the English reference. So instead of clicking on this, you can make a shortcut to do that. So if I go under action, show actions, and I go to toggle mute, and this is track number four. So if I put in four, you can see I already have it set up. I just have the shortcut four. If it's not there already, you can add the shortcut. So now when I'm doing dubbing and we have this turned off, we're watching the video and we want to see how it lines up, we can play it and I can just on our hands easily toggle it on and off by just pressing the number four. And if you want to toggle this on, you can do it the same way, make it a number five to toggle it on and off. But I just find it easier to have a shortcut to do that. The next thing is that I'm going to make is I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go down to Render. You can do this when you do Render, but I'm going to make sure that this is set at 48,000. And I want it stereo because I want the track. I had this set up for 41 and mono for audio recording. And then down here, Wave. We want this set up for Wave. And we're just going to export the audio right now. And I'll show you how to do the video later on. I want to save that setting.
the final setting, set up the regions so we know where to record to line it up with the video. And I'll show you how to do that in the next video. If you found any value in this video, please like, subscribe, and share so YouTube will recommend it to others.